Hello everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in, Kingdom Citizens. I want to absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for tuning in. I believe this is one of the one of the most needed topics to address in Christendom today because it seems like people are confused as to how the people of God are to present the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, I'm reminded of someone who they were expounding about how the world needs to hear about the gospel of hell. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. This brother must mean the doctrine of hell because the gospel of hell, that's not good news, right? Um, but we want to take a look at what's been going on in Christendom, what's been going on in the kingdom of God, and what's been going on in the world against the body of believers. Some preachers have fell hook, line, and sinker because they've heard this statement. I don't want to go to those churches that preaches fire and brimstone. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. But before you talk to me, are you one of those fire and brimstone preachers? <laughs> right. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever been intimidated by that statement? Okay? Because maybe a preacher was kind of strong in how he preached about hell and how that it is for the devil and his followers. But it doesn't take away the truth that it is for the devil and his followers. That those who do not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, I don't have to condemn them to hell. They are already going. And then hell is, is just a stopping place. Watch this. For the lake of fire, because the Bible says angels will bind you and then cast you violently into the lake that burneth forever and ever and ever. And your torment and your smoke right, will ascend forever and ever. And after that, the children of God will be rejoicing in the Lord. Do we understand this? Hmm? Yes, there will be a half hour of silence in heaven, but it's only 30 minutes. It's only half an hour. The rest of this time, we're going to be having a blast with the Lord Jesus Christ and the brethren because of Jesus Christ. Now, don't be intimidated, people of God, from letting people know, hey, hell is real. The lake of fire is real. Satan has successfully, watch this, he has successfully taken hell out of the mouths of these preachers. They have successfully believed the lying spirits that have said, listen, you don't really need to tell these people about hell. But can I ask you a question? Preacher, how were you saved? Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, this is great, okay? This is something that you need to be reminded of. I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Child of God, how were you saved? Was it from only preaching the good things of the Lord? Now, everything that God does is good. Seriously, even hell. It's good that there's a hell. Did you know that? Why? Because God created it. Huh? For the devil and his followers. Do you want the devil and his followers? Do you want to live around them all your life? No. For eternity? No. So really, we're on God's side. All right? When we preach and let people know that there is a hell to shun and you need to start living Right, And what does that mean? That means believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and live according to the Holy Spirit. 
And how do you do that? You look in the word and you see and you connect with it. You see, you're born again, right? So that means that you, your spirit, and the Lord is one spirit. That means you have no problem with thou shalt not steal. <laughs> that means you have no problem with thou shalt not put any other gods before me. That means you have no problem with thou shalt not have a graven image. That means you have no problem, none, with honoring your father and mother. You have no problem and you understand who the Sabbath day is. You understand who the Sabbath is and you rest in him all your days. And, right, you understand that there is a rhythm of life and that you are allowed to take a day off for the Lord. Did you know that? Did you know that? Absolutely. It's good for your business. It's good for the crops. Huh? It's good for your soul. It's good for your body. Rest is, right? We don't have a problem with thou shalt not commit adultery. We don't have a problem with thou shalt not steal, with thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, <clears throat> manservant, maidservant, ox, ass, or anything that's your neighbor's. You don't have a problem with it. Why? Because you're born again. You don't have a problem with the laws of God that are applicable today. Now, there are some that have been fulfilled, folks. Remember, Jesus came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Okay? And so don't be afraid in your preaching, in your teaching, to mention hell, to mention fire and brimstone. Did you know that fire and brimstone really did rain down? Where do we get fire and brimstone from? The Bible. God really rained down fire and brimstone out of heaven. Yes, he did. From the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And so don't be afraid of it because God actually did it. And there will be fire and brimstone, right, in the future only for those who don't believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Preacher, don't be afraid to let the world know there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. That's what the word says. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.